morning or afternoon, AFICC contracting officer candidates. You know that to be stronger mission-focused business leaders, we have to be change agents first. And if you weren't comfortable with change, you wouldn't be here today. Welcome to our refreshed 10-week AFICC contracting officer study group, AKA COSG. I applaud your dedication on taking this critical step to become an unlimited contracting officer. This is a pinnacle milestone of your career, and I share your excitement as your contracting officer journey continues. You've heard Major General Holt discuss mission-focused business leadership and his expectations of contracting officers and contract managers in the Contracting Experience Podcast, Episode 8. Now I'll share some of my expectations of candidates meeting the warrant board to become a contracting officer. First, it's important to recognize that the AFICC Contracting Officer Study Group is only one component to prepare for the warrant board and earn a warrant. Equally important and expected is active participation in local study groups in preparation for mock boards set up by your local unit warrant focal points, or POCs. I encourage you to set aside time for your own self-study as well. Along with the Air Force core values, integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do, contracting professionals should know and embrace our contracting guiding principles. These enduring commitments underpin every action we take and decision we make, which further ensure that Congress, taxpayers, mission partners, defense industry, and fellow contracting colleagues have complete confidence in us. Next, I expect you to know all parts of the Federal Acquisition Regulation and understand the difference between the FAR and its supplements. Keep up to date with regulations and policy changes. Contracting professionals never stop learning, even after they successfully meet their warrant board. Board questions are scenario-based, so think through the problem, identify the issue or issues, which part of the FAR you're operating within, how you're looking at the scenario, and state your assumptions. If you're not sure, say you're uncertain, but identify where you would look and who you would talk to first to find out where to go next. Additionally, you should be able to talk about contracting areas that are outside of your current or past job experiences, such as small business innovation research, technology transfer, weapon systems, or research and development. Regardless of the scenario presented, always reference your FAR part and provide details you've researched. Our AFICC Warrant Program Process Guide states that while enrolled in the COSG, your readiness as a candidate will be assessed through a series of mock boards which will be set up by your unit warrant focal points at the end of week five, week eight, and then set up a final unit mock board chaired by the nominating official or designated representative within four weeks of the study group's completion. Finally, the expectation is to meet a formal warrant board within four weeks of a successful final unit mock board. As you prepare to meet your mock boards and the formal warrant board, please remember that board members were once candidates too, and they understand how nerve-wracking meeting the board can be. So take your time, be confident, and think through the problem statements you will be presented with during your mock and formal boards. Since you will prepare a pre-rehearsed introduction as an icebreaker when meeting the board, I recommend talking through the depth and breadth of your contracting experience, education, PME certifications, and any previous warrants you've held. Warrant boards conduct an overall assessment of all questions and answers. Consider the candidate holistically, how you exercise your judgment and demonstrate your mastery of contracting issues as a change agent and mission-focused business leader. The more you articulate your knowledge, the more it will move you from a great mission-focused business leader to an amazing one. Good luck and enjoy the AFICC Contracting Officer Study Group.